Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. As you can tell, we are not on Destiny today, but we are actually getting started today with Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Now, I have actually been playing Call of Duty 4 since back on the PlayStation 3. I really loved this game back when it came out. I was 10th Prestige, and I was always playing this back when I first got my console. This was basically one of the games that really got me into gaming in the first place. And today, it's pretty crazy because we are actually back with the Call of Duty 4 Remastered version. So as you can tell, we are playing on Shipment. If you guys haven't played this game or seen this map before, it's probably the smallest map that's ever really been in a first-person shooter before. But for the whole purpose of this video today, guys, I want to show you guys the fastest ways to level up are. And see, I'm ranked about 31 or 32 in this video, and in the time of recording this video, I'm about a 45. So today, I figured I'd give you guys some pretty easy tips on how you guys can actually level up pretty fast as well. So when you first hop on the game, you're going to be ranked number one. You're going to be ranked 1, and what you need to do from there is just play Team Deathmatch or Domination, some sort of game mode you're comfortable with, and just get towards you. And just get to rank 4 as fast as possible so that you unlock the Creative Class option. Now, once you do unlock Creative Class, you do want to choose from a certain amount of guns. Now, you're not going to have to too much unlock from the start, but you are going to want to stick with these couple of guns. Once you do progress a little bit, you're going to want to be using the AK-47, the MP5, and the M16. Those are all some of the best weapons you can basically use. Now, a lot of the guns in this game are extremely balanced, and they all really are just, like, pretty fair, so basically everything does kind of come down to skill in the end. But now for the perks, you do also want to be running the RPG perk, the stopping power perk, as well as extreme conditioning. These perks, in combination with the guns that I've also listed, are going to help you guys get a lot more kills every game. Just stay above your KD, should definitely be a little bit higher. And just by using these guns at first, you do also want to try to be getting Red Dot unlocked too, so that it'll just be a little easier to get kills as well. And this is all going to go towards your XP in the end, because every kill that you get will count towards XP. And it will allow you to play the objective and do better in your games as well, and so that you actually do get those wins. So every time you get a win, you will get match bonus for winning. There's always way more match bonus involved when you do get a win, so obviously you do want to try to play the objective as much as possible. Get as many kills and the support kills as possible as well. Now they also did add a new feature into Remastered, where your UAV will actually give you a UAV assist, so every time you get a UAV, you do want to call that in as soon as possible. Every kill that you get will count towards an assist. Now, you don't want to be playing Team Deathmatch or Domination for too long. The best game modes to level up for me are in Headquarters, and you can play Search and Destroy as well if you're doing well. That definitely does bring you a lot of score. However, you do have to be doing pretty well, and you may want a team if you're playing Search. So I would really just stick to Domination and Headquarters as the two game modes to play if you're really trying to get the maximum amount of XP per game. I'm getting somewhere around 25 to 30,000 XP per game in Headquarters at the moment. But you can easily level up in other game modes such as Domination or even Ground War. Now what you also want to really make sure you're doing, this is the most crucial part, is making sure you're completing your challenges. And once you max out your kills for a gun, I believe it's at about 150 where you get pretty much all the way done through all of your challenges. You really want to switch it up and try using a different weapon as soon as possible to start those challenges soon. And then that way you will end up getting a lot of XP that way. The XP from all the challenges really stacks up. And you're also going to unlock a lot of more camos for your weapons that way too, and attachments. So that's pretty much all the tips I can give you guys on leveling up in Modern Warfare Remastered as fast as possible. And you will probably find yourself leveling up a lot faster than a few of your friends, as long as you're really going after those challenges and really going after those objectives while you're playing. So hopefully these tips do help you guys out. If you'd like to see more tips and tricks videos on Call of Duty Remastered, be sure to subscribe. And also be sure to check out the live stream tonight at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be live streaming and I'm currently ranking up as we speak. So I will be pretty high level once we start that stream as well. So definitely try to hop in there if you want to see it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.